right, welcome back to day four of scraping the internet. Today we're going to be looking at the TikTok, uh, oops, TikTok video library. Um, so this is any ad that's currently or has run on TikTok. And we were looking for target stuff. But let's just type in a brand Dove, and we'll start to see results uh, down here. Some of this is for Dove soap, some's for other stuff, but at least. We've got a big list of ads that are running on TikTok, and our goal is to extract the data for each one of these ads. So we want to get things like the link, um, the likes, click-through rate, and budget amount. So we will do just like we did in the previous days. We will right-click. Let's start with the thumbnail inspect, and this is going to bring up the Chrome development tools, and we are going to use the up arrow to kind of navigate up to where we are in the single result for the page. So right here seems to be the one, I don't know if you can see that totally, but basically this element highlights everything. So we've got the thumbnail, the, the KPIs and the links. Um, so that is all represented by everything that's nested underneath this record. And you can see there's many of them on the page. So we're gonna right click and say copy element and we are going to go chat GPT and just say uh, write a console script to extract the data from this element on the page. Uh, there are many of them. So this is just letting it know hey, here's the element, here's all the data in there, can you try to write a, a basic script to extract that data for me? Um, so as that's loading up, we're gonna go back over to TikTok and instead of elements and what's on the page, we're gonna click over to the console window. So on console, we're just able to paste in some JavaScript here, which will um, be able to go and programmatically kind of retrieve or scrape data from the page. This is perfect for like single page scrapes um, anything more complicated than that, you're going to have to write some Python and stuff. But for what we're doing today, we just want all the results for Dove. Um, that's going to work perfect. So we see we've got a script here. It looks like it's going to pull image URL titles like CTR and um, analytics link. So all that stuff it just kind of found on the page from that element we pasted in. So we're going to copy that script, jump back over to the console window, paste it in, uh, click enter. And you can see it's giving back a JSON array of, uh, or JSON object of all the results. So I can click into any one of these, and each one of these represents a thumbnail you see on the left hand side of the page. So that's great. The script's working, data looks to be there. Um, now, this isn't very useful, but for testing, this is perfect. I'll always go back and say, okay, our next step is uh, I want the output. Uh, in a CSV, CSV. And so what it's gonna do is basically take that and update the script to give you out a CSV. I'm gonna pause it while it writes that script and then we'll execute it and look at the data. All right, so we're back. Uh, it has written the script and uh, is gonna spit out a URL, or I'm sorry, a CSV for us. That's what this part, uh, this function is. So we jump back over there. We can do the same thing, paste in the script, enter going to add a download. I don't know if that shows up here or whatever, but I will go and just import it into a Google Sheet so you can see it in my browser window. So we'll click import, upload a new file, beach ball, card data, okay, import, and just like that, this page will refresh in just a few seconds and we should have all of the data, I don't know, probably 50 something records, 40 something records. Okay, so here we are, we have something we can do same analytics against. Um, so I have image URL titles, link CTR analytics. Uh, one of my favorite hacks for Google Sheets is just image um, and you can give it the URL and it'll load up. Oh, it doesn't like it, allow access. Yep, so I can start to load up image thumbnails for all these videos as well. Uh, so that's it. You scrape TikTok ads, day four. Uh, the code and everything will be in the description or in the GitHub link as well. Hope that helps.